If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Jmeter series. In this video, we are going to see a brand new plugin called Extractor Success Assertion. This will help you to assert your extractor, whether it is successful or not. And also it will do a couple of other things, which we are going to see in the demo. To install, you have to install the Jmeter Plugins Manager. You can see my previous video, how to get started with the plugins manager and then just go to the available plugins and search for extractor success assertion. Since I have already installed, it is displaying it in the installed plugins. Now let us create a quick test plan and then let us see how you can use the extractor success assertion. So in my sample test plan, I have three requests. One is example.com and computer database call. And again, there is another computer database call. So this will uh, hit the uh, gatling.io website and example.com will hit the example.com. And if you just expand the example.com, I have the CSS uh, selector. So basically I'm trying to extract the title. So I'm going to use the expression uh, titles. If this is invalid, it is intentional. Let us see how it can be helpful by adding the extractor success assertion. To add the assertion, I am not going to add it under the HTTP request. Instead, I am going to add it to the uh, third group so that it will be common across all the requests. Right click on the third group, go to add assertions and here you can see extractor success assertion. Just click on the assertion and by default, it will check find defaults among the standard extractors. So right now it supports regex, boundary, CSS and JSON. So whenever you check this box, basically it will find the defaults. So default is what? If you go to any extractor, you can see the default value. In this particular extractor, I don't have any default value, but we can add it, say for example, uh, not found, or you can also use the use empty default value, but I'm not going to uh, do that. Let us uh, uncheck this. Now let me just move this extractor to the top so that it looks neat. So someone, if you are just reviewing the script, they can see the assertion is there at the top. So now let me just execute this particular script. So basically this will give some error. Let us see why. Just expand the example.com and here you can see assertion failed and it says null pointer exception because our CSS selector extractor doesn't have any default value. So it's kind of a best practices thing because if you have the default value, it helps you to validate something. Now let us go back to the extractor uh, assertion here and let us uncheck this and let me clear my screen and let us execute again. So this time it will pass because it is not checking the default values for your extractor. So this is how you can enforce your uh, test plan uh, to use uh, certain practices so that will be very helpful for debugging purpose. Now let us uh, check this box and uh, let us uh, add some default values. So what default values to check? So in this case, uh, let us add say not found and we can also go to the second request and here you can say uh, it is a null and the third request Again, it is empty. So here also we can say uh, no uh, computers. Some basic uh, information about the default value. So now you can copy these default values and then you can just paste it using the comma separated value. So in this case, uh, we are going to uh, use the uh, null and the uh, no computers and not underscore found. So now, our first example.com, it has the uh, expression titles. Basically it will fail. Now let us see by executing only uh, this particular thing. So as you see here, example.com, it is failing because variable extract underscore title has default value because the titles is a invalid expression. Basically it is not able to extract the title. Now let me just quickly correct this. So now what will happen if I execute, it will display success message because it is able to find the title. If you go to the debug sampler and if you go to the uh, response data, you can see the title example domain 
and also it is checking uh, whether uh, it has the default values or not so it doesn't have default value so it is passing so this is how you can make use of the extractor success assertion which is not inside the gmeter core you have to install it separately i hope uh, this plugin will be part of the core in future so now let us enable the other two things so let me disable the example.com since you have already know how things work now let us uh, extract the all the values basically here what i'm doing it will uh, hit the gatling uh, website the computer database uh, demo website and then it will try to extract all the links here we are using minus one which means it will extract everything and uh, i have the default value null and let us see how it behaves so before that let me just disable this and let us execute the only the second request and let me clear my screen and here and let us execute this so now if you expand the uh, extractor success and it, it says extract links as default value null so why does that so let us go back to the debug sampler and let us go to the response data here you can see it extracted the values so it has extracted all the links but the first variable extract underscore links it is null basically it is how the uh, minus one works this is how uh, the array will start with the variable name then it will add the index so if you are using minus one this may not be helpful probably it is a bug or uh, the fix might be coming but if you are using minus one it might not be very helpful for you it is a uh, false positive basically so now let us uh, disable this and uh, enable the third one so here we have the match number one so basically it will find whether uh, how many computers are there so this is the regex and if i execute this this will go through fine because if you go to the uh, debug sampler it will extract the values 574 that is what it is there in the response so by using the extractor success session you can enforce the rules so that everybody in your team will follow whenever they add the extractor uh, they can add the uh, uh, comma separated value uh, the default values to check and also if something is not there then you can uh, enforce uh, to uh, give the error message so this is the uh, separate plugin i hope this will be included in the future uh, core let us see how it goes so thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel